All right, the interval of a third and a second requires just a little bit more information. In order to play on the correct beating spot on the bar, you have to move your elbow out if you are playing with the independent grip. Because your thumb is facing the ceiling and your wrist is turned, if you leave your elbow directly behind the wrist straight onto the instrument, you now have two different beating spots with your mallets. One mallet, your inner mallet, is playing extra high on the bar, whereas your outside mallet is probably playing in the right place. This is going to get you two different sounds. So in order to play with the correct beating spot, you need to adjust your elbow away from your body. This turns the mallets back to the proper beating spot. If you are playing with the correct beating spot in thirds, you will notice a straight line of color with your mallets. They should follow straight up the upper manual if they are in the right place. If you are not playing on the correct beating spots, you'll notice that you'll create an arc between the outside mallets there, which is going to get you two different sounds. If you're playing correctly with your elbows out at a second or a third, you're going to be playing on the correct beating spots. Let me demonstrate what it looks like when you play a fourth, you move to a third, and you move to a second. Your elbow will go slightly away from your body. This is what it looks like with fourth. When I move to the third, my elbow will just move out slightly so that I keep the proper beating spot with both mallets. And now at the second, my elbow is probably the farthest away from my body. You'll notice that with all three of these positions, my thumb still points to the ceiling. It's very easy to have the tendency to rotate the wrist and play with a flat hand, especially at the interval of a second. You want to watch that that's not what you do. Make sure that thumbnail for all of these intervals is pointing to the ceiling the whole time. Let's talk a little bit about how to get the mallets from a fourth to a second. We'll go into more detail on this when you have to do it at a quicker pace later. But at this point, you do need to understand that at the interval of a fourth, it's fairly comfortable. As you contract that interval, you are not going to do it by squeezing the mallets or creating any kind of tension. You really are just going to kind of extend your index finger and pull it back in. There's not a lot of motion that's involved with this kind of interval contraction. And at the rate you're going and at the tempo you're going, it should be relatively easy. The primary thing I want you to think about now is to keep your thumb flat. If your thumb is popping up like this, you are creating tension right at the tip. I should never, never really see white in your fingernails. Your fingernail should always have blood flow and be pink. As you contract that interval, it's just a very slow extension of the index finger with a slight movement of your thumb.